Hey, can you imagine if you actually um, catapult yourself? <laughs> What's going on guys, today I want to take to my leg workout. This workout does not require any gym equipment except a resistant band. So I really hope this video can help you find some motivation to train legs from home. Also, the training program will be linked down in the description below. So sit back, relax and hope you enjoy. Okay, so let's see how many pistol squats I can do. The challenge will be to see if I can do proper sets with bodyweight pistol squats. How was that, man? My quads are pumped already, not gonna lie. I feel like because my legs are not used to high reps yeah. and single leg stuff like this before, that's a big shock for my muscles right now. So now I'm pretty much gonna do whatever he did, but instead I'll do on the chair. So this is pretty much the alternative. So if you can't do it the way he done it without any assistance, then I recommend if you hold yourself on a chair or just squat on a chair. Yeah, I think squatting on the chair is better. Because she's doing quite a lot of reps on this and it does require a lot of endurance. Breathing is really important. I'm just gonna show one example. I breathe in. You see, I breathe in, I squat, and then I breathe out on the way up. That's pretty much what you wanna do for each rep. on both legs to be fair actually it's not that bad pretty sure it's probably even harder the way you're doing it i'd say i'm feeling quite a lot of pump which is good if you'll be doing this i recommend if you go into failure like complete failure you want to aim to do it without any assistance but if you can't do it with assistance then use the chair pretty much cool for the next one i'm thinking to do single leg split squat this is another variation of a squat and it's a lot easier than pistol squat because it requires less balance but again it's uh, really good and we might actually try to use some weight as well on this one yeah we could a bag like or just something make it more yeah difficult maybe we can use one bag we'll see one more thing since we're doing a single leg stuff you don't want to rest too much pretty much you want to go back to back if you can So this is my first set as well. So 10 kilogram back, still better than nothing, right? Yes. I'm gonna start again with my weakest leg so I can see how many reps I can do with that and then mm, yes. do with the stronger leg. Okay, so 14 reps, I feel my legs are low. If you have the option of kicking, this is it. If you can actually do a resistant band, I think that's the only way you can make this exercise harder. Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna target more your glutes and your hamstrings. So pretty much we're gonna do 
single leg hip thrust, one leg elevated on the chair. If you do it single leg, it's a lot harder than just doing both legs together. Yeah, on the eight rep. So, thing is, you wanna press up all the way, and you wanna hold at the top, so you can actually feel the tension. Okay, now um, this is my set for what we call this hip thrust. Single leg hip thrust. Single leg hip thrust. I have no idea how I'm gonna feel, but it's just about to find out. Holy shit man, the pump is real. Okay, so next exercise we're gonna do step ups. I'm gonna place one leg higher than the other one like this. Press all the way up, hold, don't step with this leg here, keep it in the air. And you wanna keep the tension only on one leg, like this. First time I did it without any weight and with the weight it feels so much better. It's like you have pretty much 10 kilograms dumbbells in your hand. So still better than nothing and uh, if you go into failure it actually feels pretty good. So, so for the next one what we're gonna do is hamstring curls. And this is actually really good. Yeah, as I said, you can do it maybe with one leg as well, but I feel like two legs is good enough. So pretty much what I did is, I went as far as where I feel just slightly a little bit tension on the bottom position. That way from there, as I start curling, the contraction will be really hard. If you don't feel anything on the bottom position, that probably means you need to stretch the band a little bit more by going forward. Yeah, that's a lot of resistance now. Yeah, so you're definitely gonna feel that. <laughs> Oops, and the, and the table starts to move as well. Okay, shall we put something on the table? Yeah, that's yeah, what I said. Crawled forward in this way, applied more resistance. Yes, you stretch the band more. The more yeah. you stretch the band, the more exactly. Resistance. And also, keep in mind each band has their limits, <laughs> so you can't just go from <laughs> one room to another and then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully, it's not gonna snap. Yeah, can you imagine if you actually um, catapult yourself? <laughs> so, down with the hamstring the curl and now 
we're running out of ideas. <laughs> Until we figure out what else we're gonna do, we're gonna pretty much stand on the wall, pretty much squat and just hold. And on the same time, think about other ways of training hold legs. It. What the hell was that? You didn't even do like 30 seconds? That's 15. Trust me, like when you do single leg, it's a lot harder than doing both legs. When I do both legs, I can probably hold it for two, three minutes. This pretty much will be the final exercise. The reason why we're keeping it at the end is just to like burn off the legs as much as possible. Let's see how many seconds you can do. Yeah, cool. You said 30 seconds. Bro, my my um, my legs are pretty slippery. Oh yeah, right. yeah, right. That's my excuse. So now we're finishing off with calves pretty much. Yes, and the only thing I can think of is doing calves with resistant band. Yeah, it feels pretty all right. I mean, come on, let's be real, we don't really have much options for calves. So yeah, it's better if we do something than nothing. I always say that. So yeah, that was pretty much the end of the workout. Um, it went actually pretty well because I thought at the beginning, I was really scared that we're not gonna pretty much come up with a lot of exercises for legs, especially the fact we don't have any weights except the water. Um, we couldn't really do proper squats with, you know, weighted uh, proper squats, but it actually turned out pretty decent. Like, what do you think? Pretty much what I've discovered now is if you don't have weights, dumbbells, barbells, anything, and you can't squat heavy, do lunges heavy and stuff like that, the only way you can get away with doing a body weight home workout exercises for legs is by doing single leg. If you have any resistant bands, use them, they help a lot as well. The key point when you do single leg and arm stuff is you don't want to rest too much. You yeah. pretty much want to go back to back, alternating legs and arms, because once you're training one leg, then the other one is resting, so you want to keep the tension going. Exactly. We will be doing abs workout tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And, um, and another one, we're gonna have to release part two for upper body. Yeah, yeah. We and actually recorded the part two. Um, for upper body. Yeah, so it should be up pretty soon. And the final one we're planning to do as well is resistant band. Yeah. All the exercises you can do with the resistant band. Basically. That's right. Stay tuned for that and um, see you next time. Peace. <laughs>